Okay, something needs to be said. Something has to be mentioned regarding the 180 that the My Hero Academia anime has undergone following the end of Season 5 of My Hero Academia and into Season 6. As of the recording of this video, there's roughly 7 episodes deep into My Hero Academia Season 6. And I ain't gonna lie, there's a lot that needs to be said in terms of how much of a switch we've went through in comparison because it's no secret. I said it many times and in case you don't know i'm gonna tell you one more time season five not very satisfying between the switches between them maneuvering arcs around between them downplaying the role of the league of villains and everything that my villain academia stood for in season five it was a dark time and a bad time to be a my hero academia fan at the very least of the anime because yeah it didn't get the best adaptation in fact it was an ongoing gag at this particular point for the last few years that My Hero Academia that thing gets a movie they expect the season to come to be absolute in the doghouse so to speak expect the next season to not really be hitting like it's supposed to because of them having to divide staff and all that stuff and there's been some I guess you could say counter information regarding that whole scenario of Studio Bones saying nah but we have these people delegated to you know this particular part of the fan them of making you know the movies then we have this staff that they do the tv series and whatnot but there is hands down nothing that can be said to counter the fact that season six is just way better already than season five of my hero academia alone just take into account right now everything that has happened in season six of my hero academia from deku and bakugo trying to throw hands against shigaraki shigaraki showing what an incredible villain he is toppling somebody like and endeavor like you have all of that and if you compare it to even the contents for that matter of the first half of my hero academia season five where it was mainly just the festival training and all of this stuff it's night and day honestly it almost feels like my hero academia season five was just one of the biggest letdowns of the entirety of the series and you could even throw the argument that season four wasn't handled with the best care either but i can only assume that with all of the fandom speaking out all of the fans saying Yo, dog, <laughs> those My Hero Academia movies, they're, they're kind of ruining the experience for the TV anime, yeah? Which is what probably prompted them to, all right, no no, no movies this year, lads. We'll, we'll, we'll put that on the back burner. Instead, we'll focus in on the TV anime for season six because this is supposed to be the best of My Hero Academia to date. And I am caught up on the manga. This content right here is the best content of My Hero Academia from my perspective. Like, everything about about it is like almost felt as though this could have been the final arc of my hero academia if i'm just keeping it real like there was parts of me that was thinking well maybe 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 this will wrap things up because again you have a massive war between the heroes and the villains and the villains have even already you know based on what's been established in season five have coincided to work together to fight the heroes this is a massive freaking war i mean for crying out loud some of the latest episodes you got mount lady getting tossed around by giganto machia again one of the biggest moments in my opinion and one of my favorite moments of my hero academia because it's no secret and in case you don't know i am a massive humongous fan of tomura shigaraki and tomura shigaraki we have seen him just like we've seen deku come from the mud being an absolute nobody nobody caring having nothing to rising up the ranks to being an incredible hero even though he's still a student technically but basically a hero we've seen the same for shigaraki we've seen for from season one when he was plotting and planning and everything went in a disarray and all might basically owned him and his crew within like an episode or two of arriving we've seen him come from that those days that he was basically like a sniveling coward in the shadows basically depending on kurogiri to get him in and out of situations to now he is straight up and down an absolute monster because seemingly the experiments the surgery went very well in terms of getting those quirks getting all for one into shigaraki because he's an absolute monster right now like dog it is crazy that in this war right now in the anime shigaraki has toppled endeavor the number one hero like just take that into account for a second on top of the fact that we have gran torino deku and bakugo all jumping into the fray and throwing an extra layer on top of all of it that aizawa 
aka Racerhead, has been with his eyes non-stop on top of Shigaraki. So Shigaraki right now is basically dominating some of the best of the best. You know, you got good old one for all there, Deku. You got Bakugo, very formidable. You got Gran Torino, All Might's teacher and Endeavor. And instead of cowering up, instead of getting bodied, instead of looking like what they probably would have done with season five of, yeah, this is not quite the way I expected. Ultimately, Shigaraki is actually kicking tail. He is standing on top of Endeavor, I want to give him a point, arguably one of the most ironic and so much meaning to that scene as disrespectful as it was where he's standing on top of Endeavor putting his arm up and saying it's this arm right this right here in my opinion is a metaphorical basically straight up middle finger so to speak to the establishment and to everything that the heroes have set forth in the world because remember just because at the end of the day from the perspective of the readers and from everything we've seen and whatnot and the time we've grown with the heroes that we understand like yo this is the order that they've set forth or whatever the villains have a different way of looking at it we see that it's not necessarily all black and white with all of them granted shigaraki is a little bit of a madman so to speak and he wants to just destroy everything or whatever but there's a lot of people that they genuinely want to make changes like a, a spinner for example he wants to make changes to society and stuff like that so something as cold as that even if necessarily shigaraki isn't like yo dog i'm gonna switch everything up i'm gonna build and destroy he just wants to destroy what he's representing for his people at the very least is something very humongous like this is the end of the establishment the villains have come to take what's rightfully ours that was major honestly a humongous feat in and of itself in the last i don't know how many episodes of my hero academia now to see that the villains caught a major w even if it's just metaphorically of him on top of the number one hero the you know symbol of peace at this particular point in my hero academia doing the pose of like nah the villains have been liberated villains we're gonna say although they're, they're pretty dastardly i'm not gonna lie because between the doc garaki getting captured and everything that happened with Mirko and the lab like this has been a freaking phenomenal season of my hero academia so far i don't want to go and jump the gun and say the best season so far because seasons two and three were pretty freaking immaculate to say the least i'm still remembering stain but yeah this season of my hero academia has just been i i can't even believe it like honestly like you look at season five and season six it's damn near night and day and it's not necessarily that season six is animation it's just botting season five because there's plenty of times where i'm like Oh, still shot here, still shot there. So it's not that like the animation and art is overwhelmingly better than season five. It's better, but not like a immaculate amount. It's just the way it's being directed, the way it's being paced, the fact that it's staying faithful to the manga and not completely rearranging situations and whatnot. Like, yeah, and the art and animation does look pretty at times. Like that one shot where we finally get to see Shigaraki after him being released and he has the red cape on and everything. Like, yeah, they are making the art and animation a little purdy too but it's just in general i can't stress enough that season six of my hero academia from the brutality of it again you got freaking mount lady getting tossed around you got giganto makia there desperately trying to get to shigaraki and of course again you got the number one villain pretty much arguably you know you could throw all for one i'm not a big all for one fan i'm a shigaraki fan let's get that right let's get that straight like dog <laughs> side note the fact that shigaraki is able to overcome the voice in his head of all for one and say nah this is my time to shine it's just so freaking incredible like honestly this season of my hero academia is easily one that is putting it back on the map in terms of not only creating an awesome season but a really dope and faithful adaptation to the manga as well without rearranging things and just in general it's finally once again a good time to be an anime fan of my hero academia not to mention some of the darker stuff that we already covered a couple weeks back with my hero academia season six in terms of yo dog you got heroes that are somewhat crossing the line the whole situation with hawks and pretty much twice and what happened there that kind of also puts a little bit of a dark tint on the heroes as well that it's not all hunky-dory it's not all that yeah the heroes are just they're the good guys sometimes there's also a little bit of a different morale that you got to look at there and 
Yeah, it's definitely one of the more darker arcs of My Hero Academia because opposed to some of the previous arcs where it's like, you know, villains are doing bad things, villains are doing bad things. This one is where you can throw the argument, well, are the heroes doing the best thing ever by <laughs> killing some of the villains? There's an argument to be had there, but also notice how in this season of My Hero Academia, the villains are, for the most part, working very much in unison with one another. Like, just even one of the latest episodes, you got all of the villains gathering together. They're like, yo, she got is awake you got again for crying out loud Giganto Makia running oh, full freaking speed ahead to try and catch up so that he can meet up with Shigaraki it seems as though this is the closest knit that the villains on a wide scale at that because don't forget that we have the combination of the liberation army with the league of villains this is the best that they've worked in teamwork and everything and just in general again I gotta stress that My Hero Academia season 5 was so flawed and had so many problems it was slow the art and animation wasn't the greatest they rearranged stuff it was just an absolute mess season six isn't the same and i think if you dropped my hero academia because of season five and you lost hope it was like yo this shit is absolutely terrible it's done you might want to give it a second look but i'm curious what you guys think in terms of my hero academia's anime where do you rate season six is it the best is it the worst somewhere in the middle and in comparison to season five does it feel like night and day in terms of like they turn the lights back on to make something absolutely epic and awesome i feel like this right here is some of the peak of what my hero academia anime is capable beloved and i'm digging this war so laugh at this one i'm from the world and as always people have an awesome day subscribe and hit that bell to get more yeah